Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the bubbled in hearts bracelet and this was designed by Notorious Babe on Instagram. I will have her name in the description box below. First I wanted to just let you guys look at this design really quick. So it is a hook only design and it is really really nice but it can also get confusing as well so you definitely want to make sure to pay attention to the steps. I'm going to bring up Notorious Babe's profile here on Instagram. So here we are. And she has created a ton of original designs, some of which um, she has on her channel, some of which other people have done tutorials for, and some of which I have done tutorials for. Um, so I will make sure to have her Instagram name and YouTube in the description box below, so you can check both of those out and give her a follow for me um, on Instagram and subscribe to her on her YouTube. So um, as you can see, she has a bunch of designs. You can just scroll through them all. And yeah, so definitely make sure to check her out on Instagram and give her a follow for me. And today I'm going to show you how to make this. You're going to need a hook. I'm going to use a double-ended crochet hook right here. You're also going to need a C-clip and probably three or more colors of bands just so that you can kind of understand um, what I'm kind of what I'm doing. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So for the main color in this bracelet, which is the Simplicity White in this bracelet, I am going to be using the Octopus dual layer bands. And then for the red uh, silk in this bracelet, I am using neon green, and then for the white medieval, I am using black. So, to start, what you're going to do is take one of your octopus bands and just cap it on your hook, and then you're going to take a black band and pull it through. So, very, very simple. Next, you're going to take an octopus band here, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. You're going to pull it through the black, and then you're going to pull that black back on and you're going to reattach the octopus band, but make sure that you don't pull on it because it does come off. So just pull that on like so. Then what you're going to do is take this end and just kind of fold it over the black. And what I like to do is just hold this black with my finger so that the um, this band doesn't fall over it. So then after you do that, what you're going to want to do is take a neon green band here and you're going to pull it through these two octopus loops. So it through those two to make sure it doesn't get uh, unlooped. And then what you're going to do is before you close this band you're going to pick up the one closest to your hook. And I'm still going to keep my finger there because if I don't it's going to fall apart. So just make sure to keep that octopus band right in between the two green loops. And then take your second octopus band here and pull it through those two loops and reattach. So that's just the steps for one side. I'm going to go ahead and slide this down to the other end. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, taking your octopus band, pulling it through the black, pulling it back on, the black back on, and then reattach the octopus band. You're going to take this end, this closest to your hand, and throw it over just the black. You're not going to pull it over the end of the hook. Then you're going to take a green, and pull it through just those first two loops and then you're going to pick up that octopus band. So once you have something like that, you're going to take another of your octopus bands and you're going to pull through those first two loops and reattach. So now what you're going to want to do is take three of your octopus bands here. You're going to pull the first one through these two loops on the outside. I'm actually going to slide this to the other end of my hook because it's easiest to do it over here with the smaller end. What you're going to do is take your next band and pull it through these center four, so those two green and on the two black loops. So pull it through the first six, and then what I like to do is just lift these outer two and then attach. And then your last band will go through the first two octopus band loops. So once you have something like this, what you're going to want to do is take two black, Take your first black and you're going to pull it through these two bands here. So I'm going to pull it through the first three and then pick up that first one. So now I have something like this. Slide this to the other end of my hook. Take another black band, pull it through the first three loops and then lift the outer one and reattach. And lastly we're going to take a green and we're going to pull it through these center two black bands here. 
and then I'm going to lift these outer two because I pulled it through the first four. So now you should have something like this, two purple, two black, and two um, green. Sorry, I could not come up with the word for green. And then to start your new section, what you're going to do is take a black band and just simply pull through all of those bands onto the one. So it should look like this. And you're going to continue doing that until it is long enough for your wrist. I'll show you a couple more times. For each section, you're going to need three green and three black. And then I can't exactly remember how many of the purple, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven purple per section, which I have five. So I'm going to get two more. There we go. And what you're going to do is just start from the beginning with this purple here. You take one, pull it through and then pull it back on your hook and then fold this purple band over the black grab a green pull it through the first two loops, two purple loops and then lift the one closest to your hook then what you're going to do is take a purple band pull it through those two loops and if you like you can also pull through that second chain which it just makes it a little bit loose, so um, be aware of that. I'm going to go ahead and slide this down to the other end. Just doing this just saves you uh, a couple steps, I guess. So taking this purple band, pulling it through the black, reattaching it back on your hook, fold over this purple band, then take a green, pull it through those first two loops, oops, and lift the closest purple band back on your hook. Take this purple band and pull it through the first two. Should be one purple, one green. And then taking this band and pulling it through those two. And then the center one is going to um, be kind of weird feeling if you're doing it this way. And you're just going to take that last purple band and pull it through the center four. I pull it through the first six and then lift those outer two and then once you have done that you are ready to well these bands can be adjusted but now you're ready to one extra black band you're going to take one black band and pull it through these two and then pick up the outer one and slide this to the other end pull it through the first three aiming for these two here and then pick up the outer one so now you have this you can always pull on these bands too. They get turned. Um, you're going to grab a neon green, pull it through the first four. You're going to grab the center two on the bands and then lift the other two off. So that's what it should look like. And then to finish it off, you just take one black band and pull it through everything and put it back on your hook. So this is how you will start all the new sections and this is how you will finish it off as well. Um, you just pull one band through all of those at the ends and attach your clip. And then you will attach the other end to your cap band down here. But that's all I'm going to have for this tutorial. So if you do need some more instructions, feel free to rewind and replay the instructions. But that is all I'm going to have for this video. So thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. My th thumb wasn't in the picture there. Thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, I will have Notorious Babe's name in the description box below. So make sure to check her out on Instagram and give her a follow for me. And that's all I'm going to have for this video. So I hope to see you next time.